Hi there and welcome to this video in the IBM Cloud Foundation Skill Series. This is going to be, uh, well, part lecture, part lab, and it's going to be about managing your email notifications in the IBM Cloud. Now there are different types of email notifications that you actually get from IBM Cloud, and these, uh, these points sort of broadly uh, cover those different types of notifications that you get. So some of them will alert you to instance, so things like unplanned events, um, some of them will let you know about scheduled maintenance, and these are obviously very um, useful if you're running services and uh, you want to know when, when they may be down or uh, there's, there's going to be some scheduled maintenance around those services so that you can make sure that your, your services continue to run, perhaps by running them in different data centers. So it's important to, to know when those maintenance windows actually are so you can take some action. There are those that give you notifications through the ordering and provisioning process as well. So if you order a virtual machine or bare metal server, um, you'll get some notifications about where they are in the actual process. So you don't actually necessarily have to sit there and watch the thing provision. You can go away and do something else. You'll get an email at the end of it so that it's that it's provisioned. Um, there are other notifications as well, which um, tell you things about new features um, and so on and so forth. Now you can actually set which notifications that you get, and that's with a reasonable degree of granularity. So, uh, so for instance, you can set what severity level of emails you might get. So you might only want to receive uh, severity level one or uh, one, two, and three, and, and, and ignore four. So you can you can actually um, control to some degree um, the the emails you actually get, which which in turn um, controls the volume of emails that you get as well. And that's all done through the console at uh, cloud.ibm.com. So what we'll do now is we'll we'll, we'll hop into the console and uh, I'll, I'll show you how to set these things up. Okay, so here I am in my IBM Cloud account. You can see that I'm at cloud.ibm.com. Um, one thing you will know, notice that uh, if you're using other versions of the console, um, such as console.bluemix.net, um, you won't actually um, see the same screen. So it's quite important that you use cloud.ibm.com. Um, it's something that was introduced in uh, November 2018. It's the, it's the latest, greatest version of the IBM Cloud console. And um, if you're not already using it, then I strongly suggest that you do. Okay, so to actually get to your notifications, you need to actually click on this little icon in the uh, top right-hand corner. Sometimes this might be a photograph of you or, or the account holder, um, but if you uh, if you click on that icon and then go to Profile and Settings, um, you then get um, these user preferences, and where you want to be is Notifications. So here we go. Now you can see your email preferences. So these are the uh, so these are notifications you get through the email through your email into your email account. Um, when obviously when events trigger the emails to to be sent. So um, by default they're all going to be switched off. Um, and uh, what you then need to just do is go around, or go through the list and uh, uh, read read what they're about, and then decide what kind of notifications you actually want to receive. So, for instance, if you want to receive unplanned uh, unplanned events, so this, these are emails about um, issues that can cause outages. Um, they're going to be location specific um, uh, um, events, and uh, only going to be about IBM Cloud Platform. So you can so so to simply receive those emails, just just um, move the switch to on, um, basically. So then you can uh, th see things about planned maintenance. That's quite an interesting thing to see because. Um, obviously, if there's, there is planned maintenance, then uh, um, if, you're, um, if, if there's a maintenance window and it, it affects your services, then you, you probably will want to know about it. Um, note that you won't receive emails about maintenance that affects the catalog offering. So this is about the, 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 the platform as a whole. Um, so bear that in mind. I'm, I'm going to just switch that on. So these are then notifications about infrastructure. So, um, so if you've got running infrastructure, so servers and disks etc etc then uh, then these are some other bits and pieces that you might want to look at and you might want to turn on so if for instance you've got some uh, you want to know about the unplanned events for the infrastructure side of things um, then uh, then obviously just switch this on and uh, what you then see is this uh, is this box turn up as well so you can actually see um, the different severity level so if you leave um, if you leave them all checked and um, then what you'll find is you you will obviously get more emails because um, because of the uh, because um, all severity level emails will be sent to you. So if you want to have, reduce that, or you're not you're not too interested in things which are um, sort of non-technical um, or um, you know and, and not so severe, 
then uh, to reduce the amount of email that you're actually getting into your in inbox, you might want to just uh, start to um, turn off some of these. So, so I'm just going to leave these this one at severity one, for example, um, uh, just so that I get business critical uh, functionalities inoperable. So if there's a severity one notice, I'll get that. But obviously, take a look at these, and if it's appropriate that you do receive those emails, then uh, then uh, make sure they're switched on. So similar to um, similar in, uh, in, in, to, in under the other switches. So uh, if there's planned maintenance, so uh, you might want to know if there's something that's either medium or high impact, in which case you turn off the low impact. Um, so uh, and the same with well announcements. Um, again, major and minor impacts. So again, choose which one you want to use. Um, I'm going to stick with major impacts. Um, ordering. So these are the emails when you actually um, order some infrastructure. So I know that when I order infrastructure, I get the, the ordering process actually does seem to uh, um, create quite a lot of email. If you're happy to receive that, then obviously keep all these things uh, uh, switched on. If not, then, uh, then turn some of them off. And uh, similarly with provisioning as well. So you can, you can get notifications about different states of provisioning. So my advice would be to, uh, to, to look through all of these decide what it is that you actually want to receive notifications on. If there are things that you're not particularly interested in, then uncheck boxes or keep things switched off. And obviously that'll reduce the amount of email that you're getting in your inbox. Once you've done that, just click save. And that pretty much is all there is to it, setting up email notifications on the IBM Cloud and uh, actually then setting which ones you, you receive. So I hope that's been a useful video um, and I hope you've enjoyed it. Any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them. And I'll get back to you and um, I hope you'll join us in the next video soon.